What's going on guys? This is Nate from The Scrub Academy welcoming you to another tin opening here on the channel. Today we are here with the brand new 2019 Gold Sarcophagus tin. Uh, we've got 12 of these here. we got a full case to open for you guys today. Anything and all things open on the channel today will be posted online on the TCG for The Scrub Academy, so make sure to check the link down below in the description for that, as well as going to our homepage and checking it out there as well. There's a link either way, however you want to get to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this though. Uh, this is an amazing brand new um, tin here. Comparatively to all the other tins we've ever gotten from Konami, this to me says, I'm here to fucking play. Um, this gold sarcophagus, gold sarcophagus tin is amazing in my opinion. Um, it's a lot smaller than our original tins that we used to get from Konami. So this right here is definitely an improvement. Uh, just because not, it doesn't get hold as much, but at the same time, um, you can hold more compactly. So the, you can stack a whole bunch of these on top of each other and not have to worry about you know them falling over and whatnot. So I'm definitely impressed with these. Definitely gonna be keeping these to hold all my commons and my bulk in. So yeah, we got 12 of these here. Um, on the, In this tin here, it contains three mega packs, which include five additional foil cards. So each of the mega, mega packs include one prismatic secret rare, one ultra rare, one super rare, one rare, and 12 common cards, including cards from the following booster sets. Uh, they got FOD, Flame of Destructions, Dark Savior, Cybernetic Horizon, and Soul Fusion. Um, as well as that, there's also going to be uh, additional foil cards that include alternate blue, uh, blue eyes, alternate uh, ultimate dragon, magician of black chaos, Max, Exodia the legendary defender. But the one that we really care about, well, I guess there's a couple that we really care about. Um, one of them is called Nibiru, I believe is how it's pronounced, which is the brand new amazing card that's going to put uh, the sphere mode out of its out of its class. This is going to be the most I, mean, I, th I think everybody's going to be playing three in the side deck, most likely, to get rid of all those combo co combo decks. Um, I'm also excited for Monster Born and Regeki. Regeki more so than Monster Born because it just got a secret reprint, but I am definitely looking for that Regeki, um, as well as uh, the other cards I was just talking about. So yeah, let's go ahead and get cracking. We'll get all these opened at once for you guys, that way there's no time tra uh, changing to open them. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so what I decided to do here was just open up every single tin and open up the pre-packaging. So we have all of our promos right here in one pile, and we have all of our mega pack packs in the other pile here. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and open up every single one of the promos first, knock those out of the way, and then we can actually jump into actually opening up the mega packs. So let's go ahead and set those off to the side right now, and we'll jump into these. All right. Okay. All right, so this first pack we got here is going to be the... Paladum Oracle Mana. So let's go ahead and rip this one open and see what we can get. I did talk a little bit about the cards I was looking for out of these, but we'll see what we can actually get. All right, so we got the Paladum Oracle Mana. We have the Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. We have the Monster Reborn here. Sly for the Sky Dragon. And we got the Nibiru, the Primal Being, the one card I wanted out of this entire promo pack here. So that's amazing. We're going to go ahead and set that off to the side. Um, up top here. You're not going to be able to see it, but I'll see it. And we're going to set the Monster Born as well because those are the two that I really cared about out of that entire pack. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one here. And we'll see what we can get. Hopefully we get a Regeki because I'd like to have Secret Regeki and Secret Monster Born, at least one of each. Alright, so we got the Magician of Black Chaos Max. And ha I gotta say, the, the Prismatics on these is amazing. I mean, the ones that they did pr prior to this were good as well. But just the fact that they're going to keep on doing it is amazing. Alright, so we got the Magician of Black Chaos, Max. We got the Exodia, the Legendary Defender. The Winged Dragon of Ra. So we've got the Winged Dragon of Ra as well as Life for the Tri Dragon. And we got another Life for the Sky Dragon here as well. And then a Dark Ruler No More. So another really good card out of our second pack. We'll go ahead and set that up by the Nibiru. So really good so far out of our promos. We got um, one and one of the two cards that I actually want to get out of this. Um, Ruler No More as well as Nibiru. All right, so we got the Paladin Oracle Mana. We have ourselves the Exodia, the Legendary Defender. The Regeki, awesome. So we have a Regeki now and a second Monster Reborn, a Dark Ruler no more as well. So that was an amazing pack, if I'm going to say so myself. That was an amazing pack. Even though it's just a promo, it's still a pack in my mind. So yeah, we'll go with it. All right, let's go ahead and open up our next promo pack here. We have ourselves the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Exodia, the Legendary Defender, another Regeki, Sly for the Sky Dragon, and 
a second Nibiru, the Primal Being. So that's our second out of three that we need for our playset. So we got two and two now out of our playsets, as well as two Regeki and two Monster Reborn. So, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. We have ourselves the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon up on top there. We'll rip this packaging off and we can get right into it. So we got ourselves a Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, Pal Paladin Oracle Mana, Obelisk the Tormentor. So we have one of each now. The Winged Dragon of Ra and Dimension Shifter, another really good card. If you don't know what this one does, if you have no cards in your graveyard, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard until the end of the next turn. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished and set. So this is a really good card going um, going second, um, siding it in for like game two and game three. You do have to open it though, because if you don't open it, then it's, you're, it's not going to do anything for you. But you do want to have this because it can shut down your opponent immensely. So we'll go ahead and set that up top as well. Go ahead and jump into our next one here. Alrighty, so we got ourselves the Magician of Black Chaos Max, Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, the Winged Dragon of Ra, Regeki, as well as Nibiru, the Primal Being. So we are getting exactly what we wanted out of these packs. We got the Regekis, we got the Monster Borns, and we are getting the Nibirus, the Ruler No Mores, as well as the um, Dimension Shifter. So, so far, so good out of all these packs. I am very, very pleased. All right, so we got ourselves a Neo Kaiser Glider, Bl Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, Monster Reborn, Obelisk the Tormentor, and another Nibiru the Primal Being. All right, looks like we got, what, four or five more of these things? And then we're done and we can move on to our actual packs. All right, we got ourselves a Neo Kaiser Glider. The Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, the Winged Dragon of Ra, Sly for the Sky Dragon, and Dark Ruler No More. All right, so we have places of Dark Ruler No More as well as Nibiru. Um, we're gonna go ahead and slide those up. They're getting a little messy there. And then we can move on to our next one. We do need two more Dimension Shifters to get our playset out of this, but any more of uh, Dark Ruler No More or the Nibiru are welcome as well. All right, we got ourselves a Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, Exodia Le the Legendary Defender, the Winged Dragon of Ra, Obelisk the Tormentor, and Nibiru the Primal Being. That card just destroys the meta right now. Any kind of combo deck, which if you've watched my channel, if you're subscribed, if you're not, make sure to subscribe because we do have lots of videos coming up. Um, but if you are subscribed, you do watch my videos, you know that I love combo decks. I love combo heavy decks that involve synchros, anything like that. They usually summon like 20 to 30 times a turn. So having the, being, the fact that this card can just drop this on my field and just destroy everything I've worked for is very, very intimidating. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to work around that. All right, so we have ourselves Magician of Black Chaos Max, Neo Kaiser Glider, Monster Reborn, Obelisk Tormentor, and Dark Ruler No More. We've got two more packs here. Let's try and bust through these real quick. That way we can move on to the actual Mega Packs. We got Exodia, the Legendary Defender, Magician of Black Chaos Max, Regeki, Obelisk Tormentor, and a Dimension Shifter. So we got our second Dimension Shifter here. Let's see if we can get our final Dimension Shifter out of our last pack. Starting out with a Neo Kaiser Glider. Let's rip it open, see what we can do. Alrighty, so we got ourselves the Neo K Kaiser Glider, the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, the Winged Dragon of Ross, Life for the Sky Dragon, and Dimension Shifter for our last card in the pack. Awesome. This is amazing. So we do end up getting all three so we got our dimension shifters we have three of those we have a bunch of the uh the nibiru's here as well i think we have four or five of each i think we got one two three three dimension shifters right there we got four nibiru's we got five nibiru's and we got four dark ruler no mores so all in all i think that this um these promos anyway are top notch and i'm super excited to see what we can get out of our actual packs all right, starting off with our packs here, we've got tons to get through, so let's try and push through them as quick as we can. I know that you don't want to see here too long tonight, or today, or whenever you're watching this. We have the Fendora, the Flying Fortress, Galaxy Cleric. Ooh, throwing cards here, aren't I? We have the Thunder Dragon Discharge, Vampire Retainer, Link Streamer, Trickstar Defelendim. We have a Super Trickstar Bella Madonna, a Secret Thunder Dragon Dark, and an Ultra Danger Dogman. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those up at the top. We got ourselves a Mirror Force Launcher for our rare Trickstar Light Arena, Goki Pole, Goki, uh, Goki Octo Stretch, 
Universal Adapter, Vampire's Desire, World Dino Wrestling. I wish this would have been better, more than just a common, but you know, whatever. All right, so we got, we're gonna have three piles here and you're gonna see them as they slowly make it down the screen here. In fact, I might just zoom out a little bit here. That way you can actually see them. All right, we're all zoomed out here. We're ready to go for our next one. Let's see what we can pull out of it. We got ourselves a Performa Pal Gold Fang, Sagita, Maverick for Hire, Prompt Thorn, Dino Wrestler, Camp Terra, Trickstar Bouquet, Waking the Dragon, should have been more than just a common, but it's whatever, a Super World Legacy World Lance, a Secret Cyber Dragon Seeker, and an Ultra Nightmare Unicorn. Look at that puppy, oh my goodness. I love the fact that they did all the nightmares in this. It's so nice. Uh, moving forward, we got ourselves the Sacred Noble Knight of Kang Kosten, the Mayhem for Hire, Galaxy Brave, Crusadia Crawler, Monster Reborn Reborn, and Invincibility Barrier, and Shield Handler. All right, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and jump into our next one. Like I said, we do have 12 tins to open, so we got lots of lots of packs open. Dino Wrestler, King Tyrexel, Crusadia Leonis, Paladin of the Storm Dragon. This card looks really light for some reason to me. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, Vendred Nightmare, Vortecular Drum Gaunt. I'm guessing I'm just thinking about how darker blue the links are compared to the rituals. Contact Gate, Revendred Executor. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at the difference, if you can, how light this one is compared to this Revendred Executor. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, a secret Sky Striker Ace Suzuki. Look how beautiful that thing is. I actually like these. It's gonna start a riot. I like these more than I like the ultimates, to be honest, just because the ultimates cost so much and they're so hard to get. And the fact that these are so readily available and a higher rarity, um, not higher rarity than the ultimates, but higher rarity than like the supers. So nice. Thank you, Konami. And then an ultra trap trick as well. Oh, such a good card. I'm so happy this came ultra. It really makes it for budget players like myself, the scrubs out there, we can actually get this card and play some good decks. Noble Knight, Pelinor, White Stingray, Dying the Hero for Hire. Why are they doing the for hires like this, putting them in common? Backup Operator, FA Overheat, Diana the Light Spirit, and Goki Heal Ogre. All right, next pack here, we got ourselves a Sakita Maverick for Hire. Tromp Thorn, Dino Wrestler, T King T-Rexler, Waking the Dragon, Vendred Nightmare, Particular Drum again, Revengered Executor again, Iron Dragon, Tiamaton for our secret rare, and then an Ultra Vampire for a loin. Then we have Mirror Force Launcher, Galaxy Brave, Crusadia Crawler, White Stingray, Shield Handler, FA Overheat, and Diana the Light Spear. Now it's about this time where I'm going to start going a little bit faster through the commons. Um, we don't need to open them all and go through each one of them. I feel like we're actually have seen them all um, at least once in our lifetime. Um, if you do want me to slow down in further videos, let me know. But I feel like we need to speed this up a little bit. So we got ourselves a bunch of commons here that we've already seen. Moving forward, we have our DDD Flame, King, or Flame High King Genghis for our super. A secret Thunder Dragon Dark and a Ultra Nightmare Cerebus. Yet again, amazing that they put the nightmares in here. And we got ourselves a Cinder Frog. I love frog cards. If you get any of these you want to send them to me, let me know, I'll give you my PO box. All right, moving forward here to our next pack. We got ourselves a bunch of commons, and then we have a Crusadia Draco for our super. A secret ult until noble arms are needed once again for our secret rare, very interesting. And then a Ultra Trap Trick. So again, another ultra, ultra Trap Trick there. Really good card. Next up, we're gonna have a Super Thunder Dragon Fusion, instead of the Ultra that it used to come in. We have ourselves a Secret Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon for our secret, and then an Ultra Nightmare Griffin. So, so far we're, we've gotten what? We've gotten uh, Cerebus, we've gotten Unicorn, we've gotten Griffin. We do need to go ahead and get ourselves a, um, we need to get the Phoenix as well as the Mermaid. So yeah, we're working on it, we're working on it. 
All right, we got ourselves some commas here. We got ourselves the Revendred Executor for our super, a secret Sky Striker Ace Hayate, and an Ultra Thunder Dragon Duo. All right, moving forward here. No more Center Frogs in that one. All they care about is the Center Frog for the rares, in my honest opinion. Next up, we have ourselves Super Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburners for our Super, a Secret Crusadia Maximus, and an Ultra Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. Having this card as an Ultra kind of hurts my soul a little bit just because I do have the uh, first ed um, secrets that they first came out as originals. But you know what? Having this out there for budget players like, like kind of like myself as well as other scrubs out there in the scrub nation, you know what? We needed those. Let's go ahead and push these up a little bit, make them a little neater piles. That way we're not flying all over the place. All right. Next up, we've got ourselves Cluster Congester, a bunch of other commons here, Dino Wrestler Capteria, Incantation Bookstone for our super. So they're putting these in as supers now. We have ourselves a Sekka's Light for our Sacred Rare. Look at that. That is so nice. Hopefully the camera's doing it justice. From what I'm seeing it is, but hopefully it is on your end as well. And then we have ourselves a Dino Wrestler Panker Chops for our Ultra. Um, common wasn't good enough. Secret was pretty nice. I do like the Ultra here just because it really makes the, the pitcher pop out a little bit. I like that. I like that a lot. Hopefully we get a few more of those. And we got ourselves a Cinder Frog. All right. Let's get this next pack open here for you guys. We have ourselves a bunch of commons, which are pretty nice, but we do have a Great Fly Super Rare. Pretty nice there. A Salomon Great Foxy for our Secret Rare and another Dino Rustler Panker Tops back-to-back -back packs for the Panker Tops. That is pretty nice. We need one more of those to get ourselves the full play set. That should be pretty nice if I don't say, if I do say so myself. All right, so Recon for Hire. You're still doing me dirty here with these for Hires as commons, guys. Um, bunch of Sky, ooh, Sky Striker Mecha Shark Cannon as a common. I'm not sure how I feel about these Sky Striker cards as commons either. Insector Pico Felina, Restoration of the Monarchs, and a Super Don, F.A. Don Dragster. This is a card, if you don't know, I play Synchros. If you didn't know, fun fact, play played Synchros. This card right here, I hated the fact that it was an, uh, uh, just an, a rare, but having it as a super rare is so nice. Look at that. It was definitely deserved. Definitely, definitely deserved. A Secret Morgan the Enchantress of Avalon and an Ultra Vampire Sucker. And no Cinder Frog for that one. All right, moving on here, guys. And like I said before, all these cards are going to be available on our TCG Player Store. Link is going to be down below in the description, as well as if you go to our homepage and hit that subscribe button while you're there, it is a link on our homepage as well. All right, so we have a bunch of suit commons here that are hurting me a little bit. We have ourselves a crossbreed. Now, I've never actually read this card myself, but it says banish two monsters from your hand and or face up field with the same original type and attribute with different names. Add one monster with the same original type and attribute as those monsters, but a different name from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one crossbreed per turn. This is interesting because it is a really good card that can help you a lot, but the fact that you have to have two separate monsters just to add another monster with a different name kind of hurts a little bit, in my opinion, but that's just me. We have ourselves a Secret World Legacy Succession. Um, the way this card is seeing play, it definitely deserved that Secret Rare. Very nice card there. And we have ourselves an Ultra Thunder Dragon Colossus. Another good card. Super happy about this. All right, moving on. We're almost done with one half of our packs. I had them stacked up um, half and half. We're almost halfway done here, just so I can measure it out. We have like four or five more packs here. All right, we have our Super Revendred Executor, a Secret Cyber Dragon Seer, and a Danger Nessie for our Ultra Rare. Another good Ultra Rare there for us, guys. Let's go ahead, and we're gonna speed this up just a little bit more. I know that we were speeding through the commons already, but the fact that this is taking so long kind of hurts me. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight to it. We got ourselves a crossbreed here for our, our super, another Salmon Great Foxy, and a third Dino Dino Wrestler Panker Top. So we got our third one here. Definitely got our playset ready to go for upcoming events such as regionals and or YCSs. If you are going to any upcoming regionals or YCS, definitely check us out. Um, if you do need anything at all for the um, regional YCS, anything like that, let us know beforehand. We do have a Facebook page. You can reach out to me, um, myself, through Zodiac Duelist. 
um, and I can definitely have those cards for you ready to rock for any kind of event you're going to. Um, we're mostly going to like Midwest regionals, NYCSs. Um, YCS is not so much, but Midwest regionals just because that's where we live in the Midwest. So yeah, let us know. All right, so we've got ourselves an Incantation Bookstone again, a Secret Altergeist Multifigure. I actually hate this card because I hate this deck. Um, I just, just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. We also have ourselves an Ultra Pankertops again as well. So we got four of those now. So that's pretty nice. All right, next pack, we got a bunch of commons. That's pretty cool. I love them, love them, love them. Another crossbreed. We're getting a lot of crossbreeds here. Um, a Secret Heritage of the Chalice and an Ultra Reproducus. Definitely another card that should have gotten it back when Summon Source was a thing because I feel like it was it had a lot more usage there. But I digress. And our last pack this first side, we're going to see which side actually has better cards here. We have ourselves a bunch of commons. They're pretty great. I love them so much. We have a Super Great Fly. A Secret Thunder Dragon Hawk and another Ultra Reproductus. So that was the very first half of our packs here. Pretty good cards. If you do want to see a recap, I'll definitely do that at the very end just so everybody doesn't have to wait around. So we'll set those out to the side. We're going to jump into the next pack here. And we're going to see if this side is better than the other side. Bunch of commons again. Pretty great stuff. We have a Super Dragon Great Fly for our first super this side. A Salmon Great Heat Leo Secret Rare and then a Danger Bigfoot Ultra Rare. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep it moving here, keep it moving. All right, got a bunch of commons here. Heartless Drop-Off, Cybersal Cyclone, Multi-Roll as a common, Mystric Holder, Restoration Point Guard, Trans Familiar, and another Crossbreed. These Crossbreeds are following me everywhere, I swear. We have a Super uh, Cyber Dragon Seeger, and then a S Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor for our Ultra. Yet again, this hurts me to see these because I'm used to seeing them as the secrets in my deck, but we definitely needed them for some more of the budget players. Alrighty, so we got some more commons here. We have a Thunder Dragon Fusion. We have a Secret Danger Chupacabra and an Ultra Beat Blazeman for Hire. Now I'm not sure why they did this one as a, as a rare and the rest of them as commons. <sighs> Whatever. That was should should maybe this one should have been a super and the other ones should have been like like secrets maybe or maybe supers. I don't know. I feel like the common was just like a disrespect, but whatever. All right, next pack here. We have ourselves the Incantation Candle. So I never actually played these cards. Ooh, a Called by the Grave Seeker rare. I actually completely forgot that this card was in here and now I need three. So this side better be better than the other side because I need three of these bad boys, that's for sure. And we have ourselves an Ultra Nightmare Unicorn. All right, yeah, I definitely forgot that Called by the Grave was in this. Oh, it's such a beautiful card. Such a beautiful card. All right. So we have ourselves a bunch of commons that we don't care. I mean, maybe we care about them. I don't know. Do you guys care about them? I don't know. All right. So we have ourselves a great fly. We have a mana dragon Zernitron. Zir the heck is this thing? Hold up. Hold up. I got to read this. If a spell trap you control leaves a field because of an opponent's effect and is now in the graveyard or banished, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when that spell trap left or hand, if even if not. Then you can set one spell trap that is banished or in your graveyard to your spell trap zone. You can only use this effect of Mana Dragon Zernatron once per turn. If someone this way banishes this card when it leaves the field. That is an interesting card. I'm not sure. I, this has to be new, right? Because I've never even heard of this thing. I didn't really pay attention to any of the leaks because I wanted them to be special for me. Um, then we have ourselves a Sky Striker Mobilize Engage for our Ultra. That is an interesting card. I'm not sure what kind of usage it's going to be, but you know what? I'm excited to see it. All right, so we got ourselves a Patrick Fluffle here. We have ourselves the Deep Grave, which is target one monster in either player's graveyard during next standby space, special summon it from the graveyard. That's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what we can really use this for. Maybe some interesting shenanigans. All right, let's see here. We got ourselves an Incantation Pensiplum for our super. We have a Thunder Dragon Dark and then an Ultra Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. This also makes me sad because this card was actually uh, announced as an Ultra Rare, literally like maybe an hour, hour and a half after I got my second secret for a deck I was playing. Anyway, next up here, we got some amazing commons, pretty great. We have ourselves a World Legacy World Crown. This is actually our first World Legacy World Crown. We have a secret uh, Iron Dragon Tiamaton and an Ultra Thunder Dragon Duo. All right, so we got a few more packs here. We got to try and get ourselves a flipping Called by the Grave. We need two more of those to make me really happy, and we need to get some more more good secrets here. Already right, got some commons. All right, Incantation Candle for our, our super, Thunder Dragon War for our secret, and a 
Nightmare Unicorn for her Ultra. So we're getting a bunch of those now. Which, I mean, isn't a bad thing, if you really think about it. All right, so we got ourselves a Great Fly Super, a Galaxy Eye Soul Flare, and an a Ultra Thunder Dragon Titan. So we got one Titan and one Colossus now. A bunch of Thunder Dragon support. Um, but no, none of the cards I really want. I need that, need that Call by the Grave. All right, we got ourselves a Super Cyber Switch here. A World Legacy Succession and a Danger Dogman for our Ultra. All right, all right, that succession was needed. That succession was needed. Next up here, we have a bunch of commons. Pretty nice stuff. Crusadia Draco for our Super, a Crusadia Mag Magius for our Secret, and a Topologic Trispania for our Ultra. That's our first Trispania there. Moving on, we're going to keep on trucking along here, try and make this as fast as possible for you guys. We have ourselves a bunch of commons. Pretty great stuff. Crossbreed for our super, Morgan the Enchantress of Avalon, and then Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor for our Ultra. Need two more Call by the Graves. Come on now. Two more Call by the Graves. Alright, so we have ourselves a bunch of commons. We have ourselves DD Dragon, DDD High Flame High King Genghis. Wow, that was a mouthful if I do say so myself. Heritage of the Chalice, and then Danger Nessie for our Ultra. We have like five packs left here. I need to get. Two more Call by the Graves out of these two packs. Please and thank you. All right, so we have a Cyber Switch for our Super, a Danger Jackalope for our Secret, and then one Danger Dogman for our Ultra. I don't know why I said one. Obviously, there's only one. All righty, let's move it on here. So we got ourselves a bunch of commons. Crusadia, Draco, Iron, Iron Dragon, Time. All right, moving on to our last few packs here. Hopefully, we can actually get something going. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. All right, so we have multi-roll for our common. Ostino, Cluster Congester, Waken the Dragon, Cyber Dragon Hearse for our super. First one of those we've actually seen. Until Noble Arms are once need needed once again and beat Blazeman for hire. Next pack here, got some commons, great stuff. Cyber Switch for our super. Danger Response Team for our seeker. That's kind of a junk seeker and a Vampire Secret for our Ultra. Oof, that was horrible. All right, last pack here. Let's go for a Call by the Grave. If not, that's fine as well. Um, we just want to get some stuff here. All right, a bunch of Supers here. We have ourselves a Crusadia Draco for our Super, a Secret Crusadia Maximus, and an Ultra Herald of the Abyss. So those were all of our packs. All 12 tins have been opened. And now it's time to see who actually did better, which side did better. So we have our second second pack of tens on one side and our first pack of tens on the other. Let's actually swap these around so it actually makes sense. So first is on the left, second is on the right. I want you guys to let me know down below what you guys think what had the better side. Was it, was it one or was it two? Which which side had better pulls? Let me know down in the comment, in the, uh, comment section below, guys. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you did like, Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell on the way out the door for me because our support is greatly appreciated. But until next time, guys, this is Nate from the Script Academy, signing out for now. Peace out.